Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button let's get started and as usual we are gonna start with uh, Dixie for the day so uh, as you saw last week the dollar been moving to the downside strongly before a um, reversal start to happen down here so we never had a any close below these previous lows here and we've got a push to the upside checking the daily time frame we see also that the dollar is now uh, trading uh, above this uh, little channel now this is not the strongest channel and the main reason i'm saying that that we never got a uh, uh, three uh, th three tests to this channel so there was this one and this one two highs um uh, that i draw this channel on so <clears throat> if this would be a three times attempt and a breakout after that that would be a much better scenario but all in all we do have this uh, attempt uh, for a break to the upside and it seems to doing well for now is that enough to call a reversal yet well i'm not so sure about that i still want to see the dollar trading back above this area of interest if we look left here we see that back here back here and back here the market been acting uh, this level been acting as resistance acted as support while it was broken shortly uh, before the the market went back below it so all in all uh, for more upside on the dollar uh, this break of the channel is not enough for me for me as i said because it was only two tests on this channel and uh, if we see a break above this level we might see continuation now many of you have been seeing the the stock market is also moving to the downside with a strong dollar and wondering maybe what is the reason behind that and um, all eyes right now are on the uh, uh, the yield and the the, uh, the yield uh, curves guys so um, this uh, 10 years yield for example is a very important uh, thing to keep an eye at for now uh, to check what will happen in the bond market that is the main driver we saw the the stock market moving uh, also strongly to the downside we are looking on the weekly time frame we're still on a bullish market but as you see this is also affecting the stock market with uh, bearish moves here big moves uh, happening uh, here because there is a little bit of a panic about what's going on in the yield curve and all that so i will give you a quick uh, uh, scenario on where we are at especially on the 10 years which is uh, an important one the 10 years uh, government governor bonds uh, the yield uh, of that are uh, retesting a key level here as you see if we look uh, at this previous swings here this is good strong technical level we have the 38.2 fibonacci retracement for this whole leg we have the retest right now and um, these markets um, will not only be uh, a, a technical level so there is a lot of fundamentals also kicking in but after the retest of this area we've got a little bit of a rejection here on the weekly candle as you see and uh, on the daily also a little bit of a rejection for our time frame we broke a little bit of this trend line so if this continue to move a little bit further down it might give um, the stock market uh, a little bit of a relief and maybe uh, some more upside and maybe a little bit a weaker dollar so keep an eye on this as well while you're trading the dollar for next week so i repeat any break above this guys will cons will be a strong signal that we might continue further up on the dollar now if we check gold also we saw that gold broke to the downside and i told you my uh, previous weekly overview that now since we are trading below the 200 moving average and that we've got a retest that failed to break back above it with a lower high here it was clear that we might see continuation right now on gold i'm not seeing any level of support until we reach the uh, one point um, 
uh, sorry, the 1675 area uh, at around down down here, or 1670 area down here. This level gonna be the key structure because if you look left after this uh, structure here, all these are minor structure until we reach this level that been tested many times as uh, resistance and as support. So this would be the market objective and the target for the bears. Uh, for, to the downside. This also could be a little bit of a sign that we might see continuation in the dollar strengths. That could be the case because when gold is weak, we usually see a stronger dollar as well. So keep that in mind. Check this level where um, we had the break from last week. So the market broke below monthly S1 and below these key structure levels. You see how strong the market moved from this area lately. So now that is broken and uh, the next um, key event would be here a um, waiting for a, some kind of a correction, a retest toward this area to then look for potential continuation. That would be the main idea. And as I said, again, as a target, we should be targeting down here. Now, if you check that as a um, both entry and target and stop loss it would be, it would it would look something like this depends on where you get your uh, trigger and a stop loss should be somewhere above this previous high we are checking on the daily time frame so give it a little bit of a room guys gold uh, moves um, a lot when it start moving yeah so when it's not going uh, sideways. Uh, so I would consider putting my stop loss somewhere above this channel maybe or above this previous high. Depends on what rules you have and how big of a position you have. The smaller the position, you the more <coughs> higher stop loss. <coughs> Sorry. The higher stop loss you can have. And uh, that would give you uh, 1.6 R uh, on this uh, trade idea. If you get uh, some bearish evidence on the retest here, you start looking for lower time frame entries and then target down here. So this is the idea, the main idea I have on uh, gold. Oil also um, been a little bit of a trouble new now when it start reach a level of interest. As you may know, I'm targeting this whole area as a potential reversal level. We we saw the price start testing that level a little bit, but there is still uh, maybe some room to the upside. We would see if it will manage to reach that level at around 65. So on uh, Friday, we had this dip to the downside here. As you see, we had a little bit of a breakout, then back down once again. We start having bearish divergence, so keep that in mind as well. Where the price is testing right now could be a little bit of a support level down here. Could be uh, something that the bulls might defend. Keep an eye on that. If you get uh, like some kind of a double bottom here on the lower time frame, you might see that continuation. But Again, when and if the market reached 65, that would be the level to start looking for some kind of a reversal back down. Will this start reversing, reversing before it reached that? Well, that could be the case, but that is my main idea here if to short and then to do that from the 65 area on oil. Next level to the downside, if this would be broken structure here, the next potential bounce to the upside could come from this area at around the 59 on uh, this market. EURUSD uh, checking the weekly time frame. So uh, last week we mentioned, and uh, yeah, I also mentioned that last week, but when the market gave us this uh, reversal candle, this shooting star on the weekly time frame, we talked about the importance of this level, this whole area of um, consolidation here uh, we said that might act as a resistance and we start seeing that with a rejection to the downside last week this is uh, was a, a try to break higher it did broke higher on the lower time frame but checking as a weekly candle this look pretty ugly on the weekly checking the daily both um, the shooting star formation here and the candle after that looking pretty ugly for for the bulls um, huge attempt to break and hold above previous high but it failed there was no break and close above these highs on the daily time frame that is a signal that the bulls were not able 
to to uh, to hold prices above this level which is an important signal going down to the lower time frame we see now that on the four hour time frame we could consider this a fake out and then a rejection and the market is also about to break below this uh, trend line so for next week on the euro uh, i'm not expecting the euro to keep pushing down without any correction so um to call this uh, for a potential uh, fail out and a reversal on this market i want to see a correction back up it should happen i don't think it will go without going back up there is still for sure uh, sell orders there that need to be picked up if this will reverse so what i want to see here is a retest toward this area and then a failure to make a new high if that would be the case I'm looking for a continuation uh, on this market, nothing else. Because if they manage now to give us another move to the upside, which would be another higher low here, because we have two higher lows and another higher low and a break and close back above monthly pivot, that would be a signal for potential continuation to the upside. So they need to fail. We need to see a failure of a new high to make this uh, decision so somewhere here would be lovely to see a failed new high and then a reversal in that case i would look for continuation uh, the same for the sterling we are looking at a very bullish market that did enter this area tagged the bodies of these candles here uh, and then start reversing i was expecting this market to reverse after a retest above these previous high because that used to be the case that you see a spike above that and then you start seeing the uh, rotation happening uh, the rotation happened a little bit earlier than what i thought and um, that is not the first time time that it happens that way uh, that i i consider something and something else happen but Honestly, guys, if you check the daily time frame and the weekly, we're still in a bullish uh, market, bullish structure. This whole move to the downside, these three days of rejection, they did not break any structure, any lower high um, at all. Because the first lower high we gonna meet is down here. As you see, the market on the daily gave you this swing, a higher low, and then a continuation. I mean, at least this higher low need to be broken to call this... Uh, trend to the upside um, as potential um, ending trend or bigger correction because the price is so far away from the mean so far away from the 200 moving average and this is normal to see a little bit of a correction or maybe also something like a retest toward this area before it goes once again keep in mind this area was a very important level it got broken but never retested so give it a little bit of a time do not go all in thinking this will reverse um, like a crazy yet and even here uh, to short this market i want to see one more correction back up from this level as you saw here on the four hour time frame um, we had a little bit of a, a, a rejections coming from below here when the market reached this level and the monthly r2 acted uh, as a potential a bit of a support and even on the four hour time frame the swings that really means something are these ones a couple of these all these was minor and uh, there was a, a, a feeling that after this uh, candle going outside of the channel that this could be an exhaustion candle and it was because the market went back down retest of the bodies and then collapsed totally to the downside so even here what i want to see uh, happening here is yet one more failed uh, new high so uh, a correction back up maybe a retest of this neckline that failed to break higher then a reversal then i will uh, start looking for shorting otherwise i would still consider this market to tag these these highs before a reversal i don't think we will see a total reversal uh, just like that without a little bit of a consolidation or something like that happening in these areas before it goes so keep an eye on that um, i'm not uh, interested to going long right now because uh, we are near the end of this move potentially it could keep going like this but 
uh, unless I see the market breaking and closing above this previous highs on the weekly time frame, I'm not interested to go long. I'm um, mostly looking to go short and I would love to see another attempt here that failed to break higher to then start looking to short it or a failed new high already here somewhere here. That would be also a good uh, idea to look for continue uh, reversal on um, on this market. USDJP, the main idea here was to go long on the 618 and the bottom of this channel. And this idea worked very, very good. As you see, we're still in a nice bullish trend with the deep corrections, but it keep pushing to the upside. We are trading above the 200 moving average on the daily time frame. We are trading above monthly or two. Uh, the market did break above this level and this level. And um, yeah, the potential of the continuation is still there. As far as the, we are keep seeing higher highs and higher lows, we should be looking for continuation. Let's take off this Fib retracement right now. It done what it had to do. And uh, as you see, the market is now trading at the top of the channel. So this trend line gonna be key and very important. You have one test here. It started down here tested here tested here and each time you reach that level you get those corrections so it could be time once again for a little bit of a correction back down and then continuation keep that in mind and if you see something as we saw on uh, sterling here an exhaustion candle outside of the channel might happen as well if you see something like this and then back below the channel you have then the chance to maybe play a short term trade back down toward 105 50 area but be aware of a potential correction to happen to then look for a continuation to the upside depends on when this market will start uh, the move to the downside then you could draw your fib retracement tool depends on when you will start see the correction happening and let's say if this would end up to be the end of the move and we start seeing the correction coming from here then we have a nice place here where we have the 618 Fibonacci once again. Monthly R2 previous structure could be a good area here to start looking for potential continuation to the upside on USD Jappy. USD Chief is the leading one been moving strongly to the upside and we talked about this uh, neckline guys. We had this inverted head and shoulder that got retested, failed to break lower and then start giving you another higher low and another higher high broke yet another important level so right now the market objective in my opinion is to tag the 200 moving average and maybe furthermore tag these levels up here on the dollar so uh, on the usd chief so keep an eye on that area go down to lower time frame to see what will happen here we had a nice break retest and continuation we will keep an eye on this level as a potential buy in my opinion i will keep an eye on this to look for potential bullish evidence and continuation my target now would be 0.92 that could be a good area for the bulls to take profit as well usd cat also um, checking the weekly time frame the weekly time frame we see that the market dipped toward this area here i wanted to see a little bit of uh, oh i am on the monthly here I wanted to see a little bit further down move um, here, but we didn't get that. You see that we tested this level to then see a reversal. We also tested all the way down here on this area at around monthly S2. So going down to the daily time frame, we've got pretty strong momentum candles here. Two of them taking the market all the way back inside this uh, uh, range that we have here. And um, again, it is a strong move and all that but we need to see at least a break above these levels for those for those continuations so checking the four hour time frame looking strong looking good all looks uh, pretty nice for the dollar here but i think uh, and uh, it is most likely that we might start seeing a little bit of a correction now from this uh, extended very extended move as you see two very strong days it is now potentially time to have start failing and give us a correction now depends on where this move end we could draw a fib retracement on that and um, 
right now it's very hard to say that this is the end of the move or something like that we need to see where the move will end in my opinion this area this whole area here gonna be a potential resistance level and potential area where we might start see correction for the downside the best level would be a retest of this um, monthly s1 area here this could be a good level tested many times as support and resistance and then you start look maybe for that bounce to the upside to happen so short term potential short trade here from this uh, important area on usd uh, usd cat aussie usd also i was um, if you watch my weekly uh, last week i was looking for a retest toward this area before a reversal but as you see we've got um, a, an early reversal here with a very strong uh, weekly candle a bearish engulfing candle on the weekly and on the daily bearish engulfing here and follow it by yet another strong momentum candle that did break uh, a couple of lows here so this structure is now broken to the downside which means potentially that we might see continuation toward this level down here as a uh, possible uh, target for this market if we go down to the four hour time frame you see that we have the same pattern here almost uh, but the opposite on usd cad the same pattern many four hour candles to the downside a very strong push lower there was a rejection at the 200 moving average here but that was not enough the market kept pushing back down filled this whole week and continued lower so pretty extended move it is potentially time for a little bit of a correction will this area here now act as a potential support um on uh, on us uh, on aussie usd or not that is the big question but i think it is a good area to watch what will happen because it was acting as both support and resistance previously so keep an eye on this level for a potential at least short term bounce back up if that would be the case and we've get we've we, we get that bounce up once again i will be very interested to see what will happen when the market tests this area once again yeah so here I will start look to see if we're gonna get some bearish pressure and an attempt for a continuation okay so short term start looking for some kind of a bounce back to the upside a correction is needed for this whole move to the downside to then look if there will be now a reversal and continuation all in all i would still love to see this market testing this area before totally collapsing to the downside on the weekly time frame this weekly structure is still actually a bullish structure guys on the weekly even though you have this whole major candle here the structure is still bullish because as far as there is no break and close below this weekly low down here on the weekly chart this market is still a bullish structure okay so keep that in mind uh, New Zealand USD same scenario still a bullish structure on the weekly time frame but this is an ugly shooting star candle on the weekly also that is a big deal and the New Zealand did at least test a major level of interest Aussie did not do that so New Zealand did enter an area of interest and one could uh, start look for uh, reversal and uh, we had um, a trouble already start happening here and then the continuation and if we go down to the four hour time frame we have almost the same pattern two days in a row with a continuation here uh, the bounce to the upside here did not help the bounce to the upside here did not help as well both those got rejected and the market uh, kept pushing lower filling uh, both this week and this week got filled um now i'm checking for structure to work with there was this structure up here but now it is broken and the next structure level if you want to find something as a potential support area gonna be this uh, trouble area here that we had previously very choppy level here so this is now broken I would look for the same to happen here i would look for a retest of this area somewhere in this area 
to then start to see look if we're gonna get any bearish evidence in continuation so it is time to see a lower high i failed a new high here to start calling potential establishing a new trend as for now all we have is one impulse we need to have some kind of a bearish flag any kind of a correction that failed to break higher give us a lower high to then we start looking for that continuation to the downside all in all any retest if we got any retest toward this area this gonna be a big trouble level for this market and potential area to look for short as well but since this momentum been very big we might not get that uh, correction all the way back up so uh, the first level is somewhere in this area to look and see if we get some kind of a bearish evidence some kind of a double top or head and shoulder pattern to then look for a potential continuation target one down here target two down here and then depends on what will happen after that so uh, yeah guys that was it for this week thanks a lot and see you next week bye bye